Hi, how's everybody doing? Uh, it's about 12.30 at night here and I'm, I'm pretty upset. Um, as you may know, many of you may know that um, I was elected as a national delegate back in May at the state convention. Um, well over a thousand fellow Republicans voted for me and all the other delegates to go represent the state of Maine down at the National Convention in Tampa, Florida. You may know that that delegation has been contested by Jan Staples, Peter Sinchet, uh, on grounds of credentialing errors and lack of security and a bunch of hogwash, nothing more than I didn't get my way so I'm going to complain type of stuff. Um, unfounded, untrue. We had two parliamentarians, registered parliamentarians at that convention, which gave the convention a rating of about a 90. There was nothing wrong with what went down in that convention. Now that that supposedly was from Jan Staples and Peter Chinchette, who by the way happens to be the, um, the manager here in the state of Maine, campaign manager for Mitt Romney. I had a meeting tonight, a phone conference call, because there was a proposal of a compromise put forward to the delegation by the GOP. Um, they obviously think that their case is so strong that they're willing to compromise with us. Let me, let me read a couple of these compromises that they have here. One, a majority of the delegates sign a statement agreeing that if Ron Paul is not on the ballot, they will vote at the convention for Mitt Romney. Huh. Maine delegates are unbound. They can vote for whomever they choose. Most preferably for the one that the people who voted for them wanted him to vote for. I was elected with over 1,000 Republicans voting for me. Uh, every single one of them had every, knew exactly who I was going to be voting for at the convention. And number two here, instead of Brent Tweed, who is the elected chair of the delegation, duly elected, unanimous I believe was the vote at the delegation caucus that we had after the fact. Instead of him, they want us to agree to allow Charlie Webster or the governor to serve as a spokesperson for the delegation and announce the votes cast for president. Also, they want that spokesperson would also handle all media on behalf of the main delegation. So, I just need to forget that Brent was duly elected and agree to have him unseated and replaced with either Charlie Webster or the governor. Three, there will be nothing negative said about Mitt Romney or positive said about Obama, especially to the media. What exactly do they mean about negative about Mitt Romney? Would showing my support for Ron Paul be considered negative? I guess that depends on what side of the fence you're sitting on. Those three things, if we agree to those three things, we give up our First Amendment rights. We give up our, we go from an unbound delegate to a bound delegate, which is not the legal definition of a delegate for the state of Maine. Makes no sense to me. They did have two other ones on there, two other proposals. I agree with that. Number four, 
The delegation will be admitted to the convention and to all committee assignments without barrier. And five, the contest brought by Jan Staples and Peter Chinchette will be withdrawn. Well, that's the only answers that I see. The other three are unjust, they're unmoral, they completely lack integrity. If I was to agree to this, would that make me any different from that which I've been fighting against, what we've all been fighting against all this time? Is this not really corruption at its worst? You know, I keep having people tell me all the time, getting called all the time, Pete, you're hurting the potty. Pete, don't rock the boat. Pete, I'm getting tired of it. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. When are we going to start to realize this? Are we going to continue going down this road, paddling the same friggin' way in a big damn circle all the time? This is unacceptable to me. This outrages me. I am insulted that they would even ask me to do this. This is just plain wrong. If the shoe was on the other foot, I'd be jumping up and down screaming this is wrong also. Are you willing to do the same? Are you willing to stand up for what's right? What is America turning into? Please, help me. Help us. Help our nation. We must stop this corruption, now. It's not my fault, it's not Ron Paul's fault if the party's looking like a jerk, it's the party's fault, period. We were duly elected. Please follow the link on here, go to the petition, sign the petition, pick up the phone, call Charlie Webster, call him, send him emails, please do the right thing. Thank you. God bless you and God bless America.